Hello everybody and welcome back to Build Bosporus. In this tutorial I will show you how to fill in a flight plane on IVAO network. I will also tell you what each box meaning. Before entering this tutorial please subscribe on my channel and like this video. So let's begin the tutorial. Now before you go online you have to send your flight plan. We starting with box number 7. Here you have to fill in your aircraft identification number. For example I fill in here THI 980 because I am flying with Turkish Airlines. You have to fill in your own airline identification number. Item 8 is flight rules and type of flight. Now we have 4 different flight rules. First one is I which means IFR. Second one is V which means VFR. Third one is Y. This means the flight will operate it under IFR and followed by one or more chains of the flight rules. Last one is Z. This means the flight will operate it under VFR and followed by one or more chains of flight rules. So when you fill in Y, this means you starting your flight under IFR and making your approaching with VFR flight rules. Z means you starting your flight with VFR and approaching with IFR flight rules. In the box type of flight we have to fill in what type flight we doing. S stands for scheduled air service. N stands for non scheduled air transport operation. G stands for general aviation. M stands for military. And X stands for any other flights which is not listed above. Make your choice. We fly a scheduled flight so we are selecting S. At item 9 in the first box we have to fill in the number of aircraft which flies in a formation flight. If you fly in a formation with 3 aircrafts then select 3. At the next box on item 9 select your type of aircraft and press on OK. On item 9 the last box you have to fill in the wake turbulence category of the aircraft. H means heavy. This is for aircraft that have a maximum takeoff mass of 136,000 kg or more. For example, in most cases this is a 777 or Boeing 747. M stands for medium. This is for an aircraft that have a maximum takeoff mass between 7,000 kg and 136,000 kg. For example, this can be a 737 or an Airbus A320. L stands for light. This is for aircraft that maximum takeoff mass is 7000 kg or less. At item 10, we have to fill in our equipment and capabilities. There is too much details about this. In this tutorial, we don't talk about the details. Simply click on the drop down menu and select your equipment on board and press OK. We go to item number 13, departing aerodrome. This means your departing airport. You have to fill in here the four digit ICAO codes. For example, we fly from Istanbul to Ankara, so the airport code of Istanbul is LTBA. And at the next box we fill in the departing time in Zulu time. If you don't know what Zulu time is, please search it up and understand it before filling this flight plan. It is coded with two figures for the hours and two figures for the minutes. Item 15 is your cruising speed. K stands for kilometer per hour and followed by four figures. N stands for knots and followed by four figures. M stands for Mac, number followed by three digits. We keep our speed in knots, so hit N and at the next box fill in 0485. This means that your cruise speed is at 485 knots. Next box on item 15, this is your cruise level. 
F stands for flight level followed by three figures. S stands for standard metric level in tens of meters followed by four figures. A stands for altitudes in hundreds of feet and followed by three figures. M stands for altitude in tens of meters followed by four figures. VFR for uncontrolled VFR flights. But for this flight we selecting flight level 290, so we selecting F and entering the three figures 290. And this big box at item 15 is your flight plan box. From here you can enter your waypoints. Simply copy and pass the flight plan here. For flight planning please check out the links in the description. I have put some handy websites where you can make your own flight plan. You can also select your route by pressing on request route button below. Now another screen will open. Just choose your route by pressing on it and hit select. Now the flight plan will automatically paste it in your route box. At item 16 we fill in our destination aerodrome in 4 digits, which is for this flight LTAC. The total EE time means estimated elapsed time. You can enter 2 digits for the hours and 2 digits for the minutes. This means the time between takeoff and the estimated time to your destination. At item 16 we have ALTN aerodrome. This means alternate aerodrome for in case you cannot land at your destination airport. So we fill in here most closest airport to Ankara, which is Kastamonu Airport LTAL. At item 18 you can put other information which is not present in other items. Just keep it simple and go to other box. At item 19 we put supplementary information. Here we put our full endurance in hours and minutes. This information is not filled with the flight plan but it's kept at the unit where the plan was filled. In case of emergency the supplementary information will be transmitted to the rescue agencies. At the last box we fill in the persons on board. We have 150 passengers. At the last box fill in your name and your surname. At last two boxes we have to select the color and your airline marking. Fill in this and send your flight plan by pressing on send FPL. Now you can turn on your EVAP client and make the connection on IVAO network. I hope this was a helpful tutorial. Please subscribe on my channel and like this video. For more videos please comment and let me know what tutorial you want to see. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again.